All right, let's write multiplication with pictures. So we're going to write complete multiplication sentence using the picture or array shown below. So I know that my first number in a multiplication problem has to be the number of rows. So how many rows do I have? One, two, three. So that means my first number is three. The second number tells me how many items are in a row. One, two, three, four. So three times four equals what? How many total apples do I have? Twelve. So we type three times four equals twelve. Next. Let's do it again. How many rows do we have? That's our first number. One, two, three, four, five. Five rows multiplied by how many items are in a row? One, two, three, four. So it's five times four. What is five times four? It equals 20. That's so much faster than counting every single individual apple. Next, this isn't a big array, but we still do it. How many rows do I have? One row, two rows. How many items are in each row? One, two. So it's two times two. What is two times two? Four. Excellent job. Let's keep it going. All right. Do I do my items in a row first or do I do my rows first? Rows first. One, two, three, four rows. And then I'm going to multiply it by how many are in one row? One, two. So I'm doing four times two. Four times two equals eight. Next one, let's make our rows. Count with me, one, two, three. I have three rows. How many are in each row? One, two, three. So I have three times three. What is three times three? It's nine. Okay, let's do this one. How many rows do I have? Two rows. How many items are in each row? One, two, three, four, five. So what is two times five? 10, excellent. We only have a couple more. All right, here we go. How many rows? I have four rows. How many in each row? Two. So what is four times two? Eight. Four times two equals eight. All right, let's do this one. Count your rows. One, two, three, four. So I have four rows. All right, so listen, I can get rid of this one because it has 20 first, okay? And I can get rid of four plus five, so we're not adding, we're doing multiplication. So it's either four times five equals 20, or four times five equals 10. Count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. So four times five equals 20. All right, next one. Do your rows, count them out. One, two, three, 
four, four rows. All right, look at my answer choices. What doesn't have four with a multiplication? Four times, nope, that's a 16 times, nope. And it can't be four plus four, okay? So it's four times four. What is four times four? Is it 16 or seven? It's 16. All right, next one. One row, two rows, three rows. This is our last one, let's finish strong. So we have three times, what can I cross out from the bottom? Anything with addition or anything that doesn't have three as the first number. So it's three times three. What is three times three? Is it nine or 19? It's nine, three times three equals nine. Great job using those pictures.